Millions of years ago, when dinosaurs roamed North America, another ecosystem full of monstrous animals were fighting for existence in a vast interior seaway which spanned the latitude of the continent, dividing North America down its center. The Western Interior Seaway covered most of the Midwest between the Arctic Ocean and the Gulf of Mexico and was home to some of history's most fearsome real sea monsters. For more than a quarter century, Embedded Exhibition's parent company, Treebold Paleontology Incorporated, has been hunting these incredible sea monsters preserved as fossils in the Niobrara Chalk. TPI's experience and expertise in fossil collection, restoration, and replication are unsurpassed in the industry. Access to private ranches and partnerships with the world's finest natural history museums allows TPI to assemble and present the best, most complete specimens. We are at the forefront of new discoveries and apply the latest technologies, including laser scanning and 3D printing, to produce cutting-edge, high-fidelity reproductions that grace the exhibit halls of museums around the world. Savage Ancient Seas is a highly informative and entertaining exhibition which has proven successful for every venue to host it across a variety of market sizes. The modular nature of our exhibition allows scaling to fit venues in a variety of configurations between 2,500 and 12,000 square feet. With a selection of specimens and modules to build from, our experienced museum professionals can work with you to compose an exhibition that will work in your space to dazzle your guests. Savage Ancient Seas comes with educational and informative signs, labels, and kiosks, including a 46-inch multimedia touchscreen. These interpretive graphics and interactive stations directly address formal education standards at the state and national levels, including those outlined in the Common Core. The complex story of the Western Interior Seaway unfolds through experiencing these exhibit components regardless of order, allowing guests to self-guide their learning and providing any docents or guides in your exhibition reference materials for leading guests through the exhibits. We will work with you to design the exhibit that best fits your space and depicts the richest story possible to your guests. Most of the available mounted specimens are able to be set on floor stands or suspended from above to help achieve the most immersive and aesthetic installation possible in your facility. Durable, secure cases house labeled genuine fossil specimens clearly viewable to all guests. Touch specimens and graphics make the complexities of marine ecosystems in the late Cretaceous a hands-on science lesson. Context is explained for guests through clearly illustrated models, enriching their experience. Immersively stylized signs and stanchions do nothing to detract from visitor engagement. The exhibit components in Savage Ancient Seas include the world's most scientifically accurate life models, reconstructed by skilled artisans in extraordinary detail. The cast of Cretaceous characters in Savage Ancient Seas will transform your gallery into a complete natural history museum experience. Upon entering your exhibition, guests will know and appreciate that they are being treated to the best exhibition in the world addressing the natural history of life in Earth's oceans. Elasmosaurus platyurus. This is the famous Cope Elasmosaur, which started the fossil wars of the 1870s when E.D. Cope published the skeleton with the head on the wrong end, and O.C. Marsh publicly embarrassed him. Dolichorhynchops bonneri. Fast and agile, this short-necked plesiosaur was wider than long. The Dolichorhynchops' conical, interlocking teeth were perfect for capturing fish. Clydastes liodontis. Probably a diver, Clydastes was the smallest of the three primary mosasaur genera of the Niobrara chalk. Platycarpus planifrons. This is the most abundant reptilian predator found in the Cretaceous sediments of the western interior seaway. Protostega gigas. This replica is cast from a specimen which was found near Dallas, Texas, and is the largest protostega in the world. With flippers spanning 15 and a half feet, our adult protostega makes an impressive exhibit. Archelon Iskiros. This replica is cast from the largest known specimen of Archelon and has a 17-foot flipper span, making it the largest known sea turtle to have ever existed. Megacephalosaurus eulerdi. Before the advent of Mosasaurs, 
Megacephalosaurus would have been the marine reptile with the most gape to its maw in the western interior seaway, allowing it to tackle the largest prey it cared to. Plioplatycarpus. A new undescribed species, this Plioplatycarpus skull was recently restored by Treebold Paleontology Incorporated. Tylosaurus prorigger. TPI is proud to offer two exquisite specimens of this enormous species. Our largest mosasaur, the bunker specimen from the Niobrara Chalk of western Kansas, is the largest complete Tylosaur skeleton known. Our slightly smaller but even more impressive Sophie specimen features one of the best preserved Tylosaur skulls known and bears a number of traces left by sharks and other mosasaurs. Toxachilles lateramus. Toxachilles lateramus is the most common species of fossil turtle known from the Niobrara chalk. Turtles are rare finds in the chalk though, and complete juveniles are extraordinary finds. Tylosaurus kansensis. This specimen represents a rare species of Tylosaurus and was molded from the most complete skeleton of this species in existence. Tylosaurus kansensis retains primitive mosasaur features and shows an early stage in the diversification and radiation of Tylosaurs. Prionachilles mutatina. Prionachilles was a spiky sea turtle that lived during the late Cretaceous in Alabama, around 80 million years ago. Pachyrhizotus caninus. Pachyrhizotus was a powerfully built mid level predator capable of rapid acceleration. It is comparable to modern tarpons in size and physique. Ichthyodectes tenodon. Nearly identical to Zephactinus in body shape, but less than half the length, the closely related Ichthyodectes found itself as an occasional meal for the bigger contemporary predator. Zephactinus audax. Zephactinus is the largest known bony fish and was a voracious predator of the western interior seaway. A number of specimens have been recovered with the intact remains of smaller fish preserved as stomach contents. Sarodon linus. The most unusual and rarest member of the ichthyodectid fishes, Sarodon possesses an extremely elongated and narrow body with nearly 120 vertebrae. Encodus petrosus. Encodus was a large predatory fish that appeared in the late Cretaceous and transcended the end Cretaceous extinction to survive into the Eocene. The largest of the fangs giving this fish its ferocious appearance are over two inches long. Ichthyornis dispar. Ichthyornis was one of the first known toothed birds. Initially thought to be two specimens preserved together by its descriptor, O.C. Marsh, the jaws were described as a new species of marine reptile. Only further preparation revealed that the tooth jaws did in fact belong to the avian skeleton. Hesperornis regalis. Hesperornis was the first known tooth bird. It was flightless and probably lived much like a penguin, diving after small fish. Its arms were greatly reduced to vestigial elements of the wings of their ancestors. Paleos Feniscus. Paleos Feniscus is a more recent animal than most of the Savage Ancient Seas lineup. It is a Patagonian penguin that lived around 5 million years ago. It makes an interesting comparative specimen for the very distantly related but comparably adapted Hesperornis. Pteranodon longiceps. The pteranodon in Savage Ancient Seas were reconstructed from the most complete specimen ever found, and elements have been scaled and adapted to provide the world's most accurate casts of both the male and female morphotypes of this species. Cretoxyrhina mantelli. The Cretoxyrhina in Savage Ancient Seas is cast from the largest complete fossil shark specimen on record. Very similar to today's great white shark, only the largest of mosasaurs would have been a match for this vicious megapredator of the western interior seaway. Squalocorax falcatus. Sometimes referred to as the crow shark, Squalocorax is thought to have been an active and abundant scavenger of the late Cretaceous seas. Carcharocles megalodon. Commonly referred to by its species name, Megalodon preyed the waters off the east coast of the U.S. just a few million years ago, 
and was the largest shark ever. No trip to your exhibition will be complete without a family portrait from inside history's most fearsome set of jaws. If you are interested in hosting Savage Ancient Seas, contact Mike Trebold or visit savageancientseas.com for more information.